I can't flip the flight. Light. Jesus. Welcome. Finally time for a new thing on my channel. We're gonna be play some short horror stories or sh sh horror games. Fuck me. I'm not sure how I'm gonna feel about this. I'm not too jumpy or I like jump but I don't scream or anything. I don't... It's weird how I get scared. But yeah, I've seen a lot of people doing this like Jacksepticeye, Markiplier and people like that. And I I have been enjoying watch, watching them so I really wanna try it out myself. That's basically it. I'm running out of ideas. I'm doing this. And yeah, I don't know. Let's just... Get into it. Best experience with headphones. I really don't know how to feel about this. Apparently there's there are some intense jump scares in this game. Maybe it's a bit too dark. Okay, maybe that's fine. When the virus got me, I was hoping I would be among the majority who get only mild symptoms and recover quickly, but my condition grew worse day by day. I checked into the hospital last week, barely able to breathe. I paid a lot, lot to get a private room, and I was lucky they managed to find one. There are no vacant rooms in hospitals across the country as the, as the pandemic wreaks havoc. That's so. Well, they will, did say about this on the page that it's gonna be really topical to fucking covid and stuff like that it's pandemonium out here so many sick so many dying i feel like i've been i've become a number of that fuck me i'm really sorry about that i feel like i become a number a, st a statistic I think I'm growing sicker. I feel faint. I feel faint and weak all the time. Yesterday at night, they had a increase. They had to increase my oxygen intake. I heard them talking about having to put me under intubate, under to intubate me if my condition got worse. Okay. What if I don't make it? It would be horrible. It would be a horrible way to die alone in this room. I was never a believer in God or in heaven or in hell. I wonder what happens to a person after they die. I've never really stopped to think about it until now. I guess I was just busy living life and chasing shadows to think about death. Jesus. I'm feeling weak, so weak. I think I'll sleep now. can barely breathe. And we're probably gonna wake up in a nightmare. That's what I'm guessing. I really don't think that I'm gonna do do too well with this game. Okay, so we are standing up. It's locked. I'm up. How am I up on my feet? I can't remember getting out of bed. He can walk around. In, okay. Okay, so I don't need to save the game. It's silent. I remember the doctor and nurse that's hooking me up to this thing. It's infernal beeping. He's self pumping oxygen. It's one of those terrifying things in hospitals. Uh, all the machines whose purpose you, do, you don't know. Okay. Is there something? Cheers chair for visitors except being in quarantine I had no visitors okay I can't interact with this hospital Jesus that's slow I bet it looks as if it was recently made when did I get off it who came in and made it I don't remember any of it the rest of the room looks neat too, as if this room was recently vacated. I spent days on this bed struggling to breathe. It feels weird to be up and about. I feel like he died and this is his hell or something. Okay. I can't flip the flight. 
Jesus, that person out there. Maybe a doctor, I need to find out what's going on. Oh, this is creepy. Where is everybody? Uh, when I checked in here, these cor corridors were full of activity all day and night. Filled with nurses and doctors and patients. It's locked, locked, strange. There are no signs. I could swear there were signs beside these doors. Cardiology, obster, fuck me, radiology, etc. Where are the windows? Opaque, opaque, opaque. Opaque, I think. I can't see a thing through them. I can't take that. Okay. That's screen side so like. That's all. There are no room numbers on the doors. I am pretty sure I'd seen room numbers when I checked in. Okay. I kind of know where I need to go, but I wouldn't check all of these. Yeah, all of them are locked. See, it's just like the others. I really don't know how to feel about this. I never play games like this. I usually just watch them on YouTube and they don't feel too bad. Or a station. When I checked in here, I was struggling to breathe. There were two hurried but kindly nurses sitting behind the desk and answering calls, filing papers, welcoming patients. They sure had their hands full. Okay. It's clear that we need to go here. No luck. Didn't these doors open out to to a lobby with elevators? That would be that would have been my way out. Except it looks like I can leave this place. I should probably should I should probably find another way out. I was just about to say that when I turn around, there's gonna be a jump scare, but it turned me around. Okay, I can barely see anything from there. Okay, so this is somewhat open now. I'm actually enjoying this, but I'm also not because I never play games like this my own. Like Resident Evil and stuff like that, but I don't count them as such a horror game like this. Because Resident Evils are like it's scary at the beginning, well, but once you get a gun, it's just shoot fucking everything that that you can. Are these patients wards? Where are they deserted? There's got to be someone, a nurse, a doctor, who can help me and tell me what's going on. Oh boy, you're dead. He's dead, I already know it is. Or he is. What? Someone's on the other side of the of this door. Oh, someone shit the bed. This room looks just like the one I was in, but it's a mess. You shadow on the bed. It's locked. We are gonna get a jump scare soon, probably. How awful! Some kind of a stain. That's shit. That's like complete shit. I guess the bed wasn't cleaned after the last patient who bought it. Fuck. Like, I don't jump, but I do like small jumps. I don't know. That figure. Yeah, fuck you. That sound came out of there. That's a shit stain. But yeah, I don't like jump but I do like I'm I tense my muscles nothing else the picture I saw on the TV it rem reminded me of no it can't be it must be matching things maybe that's what this what this whole thing is some lucid dream I'm having while my body lies in some kind of coma Fine, for now. Fuck me.
Oh, I, I just tense up my muscles. That's basically get like cold sweat, or yeah, cold sweat. But I'm not. Fuck me. I decided something's about to happen. It's not solid anymore. Fuck you, game. It's locked. Why is there a corpse in there? If this is a dream, it's growing increasingly disturbing. Yes, it is. So I just need to continue. Is someone toying with me? Am I... In am I being led? Okay. That figure I saw. Okay, you're right there again. But well, that wasn't too bad. It can't be her. This is a dream, a nightmare, rather, in which I'm trapped. How can it be her? So that's his wife or something like that, who has already died. Like, I... I just get chills. And that's it. I don't jump, I get chills. Oh, where the f What? How? How did I get here? I recognize this place. The furniture and the way they are arranged. This looks like the apartment where we used to live. Fuck me, I skipped that on accident. There's something on the table there. I feel like it said something like, except everything is like broken down or so something. Okay. Or who, we are, who are you? It can't be. It can't be her. I can't see her face, but I know her anywhere. How is this possible? She's been dead for four years. Nia, is that you? This isn't real. Am I dreaming? Oh, I can... Uh, well, I did realize that I can pick, but that was a late reaction. Like, what the fuck? This is in real line dreaming. I really don't know. A familiar, familiar silence. This is some monstrous dream. Memories of those horrific events of four years ago are coming back to me. The doubt and the guilt that I that I have haunted me since. Could I save her life? Had I done things differently, and at what cost? I'm sorry for what happened, I couldn't save you. I'm sorry for what happened. Even though I don't know what happened. Only cold silence. What does he want? I just get chills. I could just move it, or feel it moving from here to here. Like from my left shoulder to my right. Like cold chills. That's it. Near? Am I going crazy? Or is this some fever dream seated by my past while my body lies wasting here, I'm wasting away on a hospital bed. Silence again. Mm, yeah. I remember this picture. We had had it had taken it out by the beach just after just after yet another bitter fight. She was just 24, but by the end she had already begun to show increasingly frightening sides of mental illness that would later consume her. Erratic violence shifts in temperature, brooding silences, fixed stares and an obsession with my whereabouts, self-harm. I tried to get her help, she refused when it was clear she was becoming a danger to both of us, I re ended our re relationship. Then it got worse, a lot worse, the phone calls, the stalking and the threats. And finally I woke up one night and find her, find her, that's, that's supposed to be far. Woke up one night to find her, no, I'm fine. I'm really sorry for the immers immersiveness of this video. 
I woke up one night to find her standing over my bed, staring at me, her dark eyes empty and unbreathable, her mouth stretched in a chilling grin. When I saw what she was holding in her hand, she ripped it up in a fury when we ended our relationship. Sofa. The furniture, the couch, the tables, all props from past, I'd much rather forget. If this is a stream, how does it all feel so real? I can smell the rot in this place, a vile smell. Everyone, none of this makes sense. This apartment, it was where she and I lived together before. It all went to hell. Armchair. Okay, I'm really... I'm not scared, but I'm really the. I'm starting to feel really uneasy. Okay. What is this place? This is your hospital, but a little bit run down. I feel like all of these are gonna be locked. Yes. Fuck me! And there is a body. I'm guessing that's Nia's body, I feel like. Are you gonna stand up? Who would happen to dead body here? The stench here is terrible. I should move on. Okay. Uh, that door is closed, so something's about to happen. Make it open up. Doesn't budge. I fucking knew it, but I still jumped. She's doing this, I don't know how she's toying with me. I must find a way to out of this nightmare. Oh, fuck me. Oh, what a fucking room. Can look at this. It's so silent. <laughs> Fuck this. Not there are one of these. Okay, so that's open. Which is kind of a good sign. So nothing too bad should happen here. I'm just trying to anticipate all the jump scares. Okay, well that's fine. On well, that night four years ago when I woke up to find her standing over me, she was holding a knife. I watched her, she raised it and held it to her own throat. She said, I don't want to leave it without you. Before I could, she could hurt herself, hurt herself, I leaped at her, grappled the blade away and subdued her till the authorities arrived. They put her away in an institute, a mental hospital, and a week later I got a terrible call. She killed herself. Is this a mental institute? Yep, she hanged herself. Nia, yeah, oh god. What did you do? Why did you have to take how to go like this? They told me what you wrote on the note. Your last words. What do you want from me, Nia? I did what I could. Why are you tormenting me? I still want to check all these doors. Oh, that. Okay. Are you gonna run at me? Nia? What do you want from me? I think of the note you left in the last, the last words you ever said. Okay. You wrote, I'm never gonna going to let you go. I know those words 
were meant for me. Is that that what this is about? That that if the, that if I done di things differently, perhaps be more compassionate, you might still be alive. Like I get chills. I don't jump. I just get chills. Is that it? It wasn't it. I'm I'm back in my room. How did I get here? Near. The bed I was lying on, fighting for my life. Am I well? Am I well, or am I still perhaps? Am I still trapped in this nightmare? I really don't know. You might still be. Do I dare to go out? What will I, will I find? A bustling hospital, smiling faces, tell, telling me I'm better and I can go home. Or a shadowy horse haunted by my past. A minor coma trapped in a body that is wasting away while I suffer a fever dream, born of guilt. Or am I dead and is this my afterlife? These dread, ho dread holes and tormented souls stalking me for all eternity. The end. Okay, so that was 20 minutes like I was expected, so that's like a good short video. Oh man! And she's still laughing. So this might be my afterlife. Okay. I really enjoyed it. Because it's my first game time playing anything like this. I've always always watched videos. It wasn't too scary. But I still really enjoyed it. And I am gonna try and look for a new other games like this. I am probably not gonna play any of the games that I have seen on YouTube, but I am gonna look for like games that I haven't seen and stuff like that. Because I really enjoyed that. It wasn't the scariest, but it was. It's the first time for me, so it was really nice. I don't know. I'm re that that will also actually help me out. In my pronouncing words and stuff like that so hopefully everything will get better at some point and yeah I don't know it, it was fun hopefully you enjoyed hopefully you at least got scared I didn't too badly I got a lot of chills that but that's basically uh, my scares usually just stay at getting like cold cold sweat and chills and tensing up my muscles I don't like scream or jump which is kind of sad I wish I would be scared like that but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, do all that stuff, and yeah, see ya.